A new twist in the Julie Harper murder trial as the convicted killer's sentence just got a little bit harsher. Today, the court ordered her to pay $10,000 in restitution. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens was in court for this. Jared, can you take us through what that money will cover? Virginia, half of that will cover the cost of her husband's funeral expenses. The other half will go towards paying for therapy for their two oldest children. I'm sure these kids have received an extensive amount of counseling uh, for obvious reasons, okay? Their, their mother killed their father. Uh, and, and I'm looking now, Harper sat in court today with her hands and feet handcuffed during the hearing. She was convicted of second-degree murder last year and just last month sentenced to 40 years to life in prison for killing her husband, Jason, a popular teacher in Carlsbad. During the trial, Harper had said Jason was abusive and she shot him in self-defense. Today's ruling is the latest way that the state is trying to get Harper to take responsibility for murdering her husband. Remember, we spoke to her in jail last week, 10 News did, and even during that interview, she sounded more concerned for her own health than for her children or showing any remorse for what she had done. Also at today's ruling, the judge ordered that evidence from the trial can now be returned to its owners. That includes some jewelry that belonged to Julie Harper and also a pair of guns that belonged to her father. Neither of those guns, by the way, were used in the murder. Live in Vista, Jared Ahrens, 10 News.